Right, we're not here. I'm talking to Lynn. Lynn, where did you volunteer and what did you do? I volunteered in August 2010 and I went to Port Elizabeth in South Africa and I worked in a project called Emmanuel and the project has carers there who go out into the community to support people in their homes with HIV, AIDS, TB and poverty. There's a creche there as well and then also a feeding program on there. My background is a social worker so I was hoping to be able to use some of my social work skills within that project. And what were the highlights of your trip? The highlights of my trip were I lived um, within one of the townships and that was a real highlight for me to be embraced by the local family um, and to um, be able to share their life with them, that was a real highlight. And also working with all the children um, within Emmanuel who um, just embraced you as though they'd known you forever and, um, and the carers were also very welcoming. So I think the friendliness of people um, was just a highlight really. And what in your opinion were the greatest challenges? The greatest time? challenges um, um, are accessing information, accessing funds and accessing a service for people. Um, a simple example would be that if somebody has got HIV and they need medication, they have to go to a clinic, which is 45 minutes away. Um, this one particular person was so, so poorly that to walk 45 minutes was very difficult for her, but she did do it. And then once at the clinic, we then had to wait for five hours before she then re received her medication. So I think that was a huge challenge to be able to um, kind of accept that that's the, the type of service that people have to put up with on a daily basis. And what is the, <coughs> is the one piece of advice that you would give to potential volunteers? Um, my one piece of advice would be not to expect to go and reinvent the wheel, um, to um, get to know people first, um, and if you can help somebody in a small way then remember that but don't expect to go and kind of change things because I come from a white western society and going into an African culture is two very worlds apart. Finally, then, why did you choose to go with people and places? I chose people and places because they offer support, they give you all the information before you go about the project where you're going to be, they match up the skills that you've got to the project that you're going to. Um, I knew exactly who we were going to be staying with. The support whilst you're there is very good um, and also the follow-up afterwards was excellent. So it's kind of the all-round package, really. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you for your time.